Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time, I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright. Okay, here we are back inside Major School once again. Thanks for tuning in. Hope the videos are helping you in your designing process. If they are, please smash that subscription button, tap on that notification bell for further upload notifications. Leave me a like and please, please take five seconds, drop an emoji or a comment or something down below. I'd really appreciate that. Believe me, it helps my algorithm out and it will help me out and I'll just be able to help uh, produce and uh, keep producing more and more content uh also if there are you'd like to donate some uh, coffee to the cause down around here there's a super thanks button you can tap on that and donate some coffee uh there was a question or a, a request about uh profiles for signet rings and stuff like that adding them to our libraries uh so what we're going to do is we're going to talk kind of talk about that like uh for today in this content and there's a couple things that are a little disappointing and a couple things that are really pretty cool so you're going to get a 50 50 chance today <laughs> um now let's see let's just go ahead and say we want to make a outside rail for our profile and that's the one we're going to focus on and actually let's just go ahead and grab i just started playing around with this to try and see all, everything that we could do so this is going to be a little rough video uh but uh i, I think you'll find it interesting okay so here's that uh, ring rail let's go to uh our uh advanced signet builder right uh and we have uh, let's give it some shading okay so over here we have lots of options of course we can change the top any site i'm sure most of you already wear that uh we can also go in here and uh change our uh side profile which is this profile here uh and we can also uh change uh the shape of this here right but this is the one that we really want to manipulate right there's a lot of things we can do in here uh and that's the one we're going to focus so we want to make a profile for this here now i'm going to give you the disappointing things first so i'm going to go ahead and accept this for right now i still have it saved in my dynamic dynamic command so i can come back and edit it at any time i'm going to hide it uh, so we're going to make a profile and we want to add it to that library uh, for, okay. All right, so we'll go to our curves. We'll just grab a circle. Uh, we'll change it to yellow creation layer. We'll start from center. We'll hold down, you know, you probably want to find out your size millimeter that you want and put that in there. Uh, or actually, uh, you could probably just do a ring rail. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you could probably just go ahead, delete that. Uh, just go ahead. Uh, like I said, it's going to be rough. I just kind of started playing around. So we'll just do a ring rail and we'll just save it, right? But we want to make, uh, this will be like an outside ring rail, right? So we're just going to go ahead. We'll edit it a little bit. Uh, we'll bump it up to a size, I don't know, 10 just for fun uh it, it really doesn't matter i don't think but we're going to use this uh now we need to cut it so we're not gonna we're gonna break history anyway so we need to cut a little space because it's not supposed to be it's got to come up wherever the top is for the signet ring right so we'll just go ahead and take this uh trim it we'll get rid of all this here this and this when you see we just broke history so this is kind of what an outside ring rail is going to look like uh for that signet ring right uh as far as a profile goes so we have this this be, say we want this as our profile uh we're going to do something different later but anyway uh we want to save it to our profiles so select our curve that'll be this one and it's a rail right so we'll click there and it's a signet rail is what we want uh and we'll click there and it says this category is not yet implemented so we cannot save it 
to that category yet. So Gym Vision, get on that. <laughs> Let's take care of that one for everyone. Because uh, really, I was playing around with it just a few minutes ago, and I think there's so many options here that we could uh, work with that uh, will be absolutely amazing. So let's get going on that one. Uh, so let's come back. Let's bring back our ring. But there's other ways we can do it. They're just not going to be as accurate. The nice thing about being able to add the profile from our viewports uh, you know, our active screen here is that we have absolutely every command at our disposal so we can do all kind of things, right? Uh, and the profile editor itself is a little bit limited, not to say that it's bad or anything. It's just that it doesn't give us as many options. But anyway, Let's keep moving forward. Uh, so this is the curve that we want to change up. Uh, so we'll go back to our set. We'll click on edit signet ring here. Now, again, if you're wanting to add, you know, like this profile here, you can always just go to your editor uh, and you can, well, as you're doing it, you can see the updates. Uh, you can, and you can do this one uh, in your viewport and save it. I'll, I'll make another video if uh, that something you'd like to see uh, uh, at a later date. But we're going to focus on this one. But I do want to show you what we can do with it. Uh, you can just chain, move these points around, and you can see, be seeing it update as you do it. Right. So there's lots of things you can add more points. Uh, to, you know, say you want it there, you want to bring this one in a little bit. So, uh, you know, there's still many things that we can do. Uh, and all you have to do is hit for each one that you want to save. Uh, all you have to do is save, save, change, make some changes, save, you know, make some changes, uh, save. Uh, and then, you know, so you can build a library very quickly from here and then changing them around, right? Uh, so let's... Uh, that you know you can even add a kink uh, uh so we'll add a kink right here and now we have a kink you know so there's and it's save 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 and you can build a library very quickly just by playing around with that right and you can also uh change these up you know to pick a different one uh, you know, you just pick a different one and go in here to your editor and then start changing that up as well. Uh, but I messed up there. Let's go back and grab uh, this one. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. So this is kind of what we've got going on here. I don't like that. Let's change it. Uh, let's change it. Not that. Let's change it to this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> anyway, you can build a library very quickly just by playing around with those. You can also do it here. Uh, you know, you could change these profiles and then uh, go in here to your editor and watch them update as you do it. Uh, and you can get a little uh, kind of kink action going in there, maybe. Or I can't see. Oh, right there at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, so there's some things that you can do with this and just add points and change those and just save, 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 right? Okay, so that's kind of, let's move on. Uh, I don't like that thing. Uh, sorry. Yeah, we'll just leave it here. All right, so we have the, oh, that's probably why right here I don't have enough. There we go. All right, so we this is the one we're going to focus on, right? And as you can see, there is no button over here, but there is. It's hidden. <laughs> uh, so we want to play around with this one. So right here where it says manual, we're just going to turn that on. Now we have our outside rail there. So we can go over here, and you do have a few options here. This is the one that I made. Uh, we do have some few options that you can play around. We're going to stick with this one and play around with it. And we're going to go into our editor and we want to manipulate it, right? Now, normally this would be very easily, easily done in the viewport where we could just, uh, do a length for the curve, lay it out, put a little arc on it, and then do a, a lot, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, sorry. Uh, array right array along curve uh or array linear and then just put our curves on stuff out there and then uh flow it uh flow to along curve up to, onto this curve and you're done right and you save it to your profile but uh the 
editor yet will not let us do that. And also, we don't have a lot of options over here, and our snaps are pretty limited. Uh, so it makes it a little more challenging, uh, and you're probably not going to be able to get the accuracy that you can by doing it in your uh, viewport. Uh, but we still have the option. So let's go ahead and change this up. So what we're going to do is grab this little arc here. And right now I have my near and start snap. Click they're on, they're on, they're on now, they're off, they're on, they're off, they're on. Uh, I'm going to turn off near and I'm going to, I have my start and point uh, clicked, right? So I'm going to snap it to here and now I'm going to turn on near uh, and bring it down so it sticks to my curve, right? Uh, and then I'll just say something like, I don't know, something like, I'll just make them bigger for this video. Uh, and now I can kind of manipulate it where I want a little arc, and there I go. Now, it'd be nice to be able to duplicate this or uh, flow it or array it or something like that, but we can't. We don't have those options as of yet. But we can still go ahead, click it, turn off our near, because if I, well, it's, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and select this. I my nears on and my starts on, right? And I I can't it's not snapping to that point. So we'll turn this on, turn this one off and it'll snap right to that point. All right, but we can't it's it's going to be kind of like a guesstimation, right? I mean, we can kind of tell one, maybe almost two, and then you kind of have to judge, but it's not going to be extremely accurate. That's the only downside. So as you can tell, it's not long enough or not big enough. So, you know, you kind of have to uh play around with it a little. So, let's add another one. Uh let's I'm not going to worry about getting it accurate as accurate, but uh, right now, so something because it, it's kind of difficult to do. I'll right click. Oh, I can't right click. So let's go back here. Uh, turn off near. It'll snap to that point. Turn on near. So it'll snap to my line. Uh, something like this and kind of something like that. And then again, turn off near. Snap to that point. Turn on near. And I can keep it to my line maybe something like that and one more uh, turn off near so it'll snap and then we'll say somewhere around here turn on near right there and then give it a little arc that's kind of jacked sorry yeah I'm being too picky I shouldn't really worry about it. turn off near snap it turn on near put it like right in here and then give it just Let's zoom in a little give it a little arc all right so we got those on there right so what we'll do is we'll take this curve we'll go and we will split with this one right here and then we'll hit enter right and we can get rid of that curve this one sometimes right here for some reason it wants to be a little difficult it wants to select both of them you know the cur the dome or the arc and the curve sometimes so just kind of click off and click back on you'll get it uh, so we can take all these mirror it over to the other side and we can take this curve again and we can split it with this one here and then hit enter now see if i go in here and click it would get both of them right just click off click back on click off click back on it'll go away eventually zoom in sometimes that helps there we go get rid of it now we have it our outside curve there we, we want so we're just going to go ahead and take it and if you look over here we have nothing because there it's not being able to register anything right uh, and then we can just join those together and boom there you go we have a little ribbed ring now the only thing is this is not going to go all the way around because this curve is totally separate right so but you can get quite a bit of different designs uh by doing something like this and then once they implement this uh, into matrix gold uh you're going to be able to really just start cranking out uh, all kind of really crazy things 
uh, but that's pretty cool. I mean, we, you can change those to flatten it, flattened ones. Uh, there's all kinds of different options. You can always go back. You got total parametric history now, and if you hit save, you'll be able to go back and grab that this one that you made anytime you want. You go to your top. You can change the top around to to get different. Uh, uh, different looks, right? I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Uh, so now you have, you're back to, let's get this viewport where we can see it. Now we, we have, uh, I don't know why that popped back up, but uh, any, nonetheless, uh, we can go in here and start doing some crazy stuff. Uh, so coming up with uh, really bizarre uh, items very quickly that we can go ahead and uh, manipulate even further right uh so there's uh that's uh you know pretty cool feature i think uh you know you just by adding that extra little curve out there right so hopefully that helps you a little bit and hopefully matrix gold will uh, get that uh, implemented and we can start doing a little bit more work with these uh, advanced signet ring uh, builder in uh, total uh, parametric history with full dynamic commands. So thanks for watching. Good designing. Hope the video helps.